gaskets came in cosmetics MLX and that's a 0 0.40 thickness all right and currently it is four o'clock and we're going to time ourselves see how fast we can get this heads off all right get the old gaskets up and I'll get the new ones installed let's go Left to the bank, I'm like, ha ha, da da. What she saying? I heard blah blah. Wata rocks on me like I'm Tata. Papa, like a papa. Perk the sip before you chop up, chop up. Hey, bush. Serving patience, I'm a trapper. I've been running with some trapper. It is now 6 30, and we have both of the heads off gonna take the uh, old gaskets out prep the surfaces and slap the heads back on we didn't beat our uh, beat our record took a little break to uh, eat a slice of pizza I was looking for my 10 mil for like five minutes and got the growth started you definitely burn more calories when you're uh, moving with a pep in your step all right let's get ready and boom we have Everything buttoned up and ready to go. Running a black Gates belt. We've been snapping the green ones and I don't understand. So we did the laser tool. Uh, we use a laser tool to align the uh, Pro Charger pulley and the crank pulley. And still snapping belts. Uh, I have the uh, tensioner uh, preload uh, maxed out. So it's pretty stiff right now, but still still breaks the belt at the at the top of the gears so i narrowed it down to the uh, actual tensioner itself this is automatic tensioner uh, i'm going to be swapping that out for manual tensioner i haven't even looked it up yet but i'm pretty sure pro charger should offer one uh for this bracket and uh this uh setup um which will give us a little bit more tension and hopefully that'll curb this whole uh, belt breaking issue this shit is ridiculous at this point i just want to just get rid of it and go with a big single getting tired of this belt life nothing but nothing but issues supposed to be a simple setup but it's everything but that hopefully the MLX uh, gasket does its thing and uh, helps us uh, keep that seal um, I took some of the timing out as well uh, to see if that helps all right so um, if it doesn't work then we'll just uh, save up and uh, go with some six bolt heads our usual boost our pressure was right around 23 psi and um, I could tell that our things weren't running right when I was seeing our uh, 19 uh, barely 20 psi and as well as pushing coolant out of the overflow tank as well so if I see that boost pressure and we're not pushing any coolant out then I'll know that uh, we should be good to go so I'm gonna be making a couple test hits later tonight and hopefully everything holds alright wish me luck So this is this is gonna be our third occasion racing, all right. So the so the first two out of three he's gotten me, all right. So our first uh, first run was in a stock bottom end LS7. We got the gap. Second run was with the same setup we have now, but we uh, actually lifted the heads on that run. Uh, just we did the gaskets earlier today, put the motor back together, and we are back out here for the rematch, the, the third. All right, so. I don't know. It's it is uh, a little chilly tonight, so hopefully we don't break uh, loose in third gear. I, I think I should get him this time. All right, so fucking H2 is going down. All right. <laughs> all right, man. Line that bitch up. Let's go. <laughs>
tonight we've got yellow on yellow got this clean c5 cammed full boton still pump gas 93 uh, i think he said that the heads were redone heads are done ported and i'm gonna be having him run my brother the other yellow c6 full boton's cam e85 really curious to see how that goes so his is a 6 so 57 and we got the GoPro mounted to give that uh give y'all that angle I'm saying, saying, I'm making sure I'm 